Hi everybody, it's Karen from Scrappy Connect Studios and I'm here today for Doodlebug Design to share with you one of my favorite stamping techniques called masking. So masking allows you to actually layer stamped images one in front of the other. And you can see that when you do this with different stamps, you can create all sorts of unique images um, with the doodle stamps. So I'm going to show you how this works today. Okay, so when you're masking, the first thing you need to decide is what images are you going to use. So for this project, I used Doodle Stamps Love Notes um, stamps. They're super fun. There's tons of possibilities with this particular stamp set. So I think what I want to do today is actually use the typewriter and then make it appear as though there's some flowers peeking out from behind the typewriter. Um, I'm not going to use all of them, this image. I'm just going to use kind of the top part um, and then kind of make it look like there's like flowers sort of sitting on the table in behind the typewriter. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the stamp that's going to be in the foreground or at the front, um, the one that is going to look like everything else is behind it. And what you need to do is you need to create what's called a mask for this particular stamp. So I just use post-it notes and I stamp the image kind of up towards the sticky side of the post-it note so that essentially there's going to be some stickiness on the back of the stamped image. So I'll just kind of stamp it up here and then take it off. Don't worry if your image isn't perfect. You just need to make sure that you have a good outline so that you can take some scissors and then just fussy cut around the image so you can kind of see the adhesive part is on the edge of the stamped image there so now i'm just going to take a really good pair of scissors and i'm just going to do some fussy cutting if you're not big on fussy cutting you can always use a die cut for this as well um, but i just find that the um, using a pair of scissors and cutting is super fast just make sure that when you're fussy cutting it is your paper that you're turning and not your scissors and i think you'll find you have pretty good success with cutting up close to these images as you go around. So I'll just kind of finish cutting up this um, typewriter. You do want to make sure that you stay pretty close to the image and you don't leave um, a lot on the edge and you don't cut off too much. All right, so here we go. We'll just get rid of these sticky pieces here. And so you can see essentially now I'm going to figure out where I want this stamped image to go and what I want to go in behind the stamp image. So let me just kind of put this down here and I'll show you what I mean. So if I put my um, mask down and I take off the flowers that I want to put in behind, you can see that I'm actually going to stamp right over top of this mask and that's going to protect the image that's in behind and make it look like the flowers are actually behind the typewriter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my ink and I'm going to stamp up my cute doodle stamp, just like this. And I'm just going to stamp it right here in the middle of this particular little piece of paper that I've cut out. And we do want to make sure we get a nice impression here because this will be what it looks like when you're finished. So now I'm going to take my mask and I'm actually going to cover this up. Don't worry, you don't have to wait uh, for the ink to dry. You know, if you have a fast drying, it'll, you can just go right over top of it. And you can see it's sticky on one side and not on the other. But don't worry, it doesn't matter that it's not sticky over the whole thing. In fact, it'll make it easier to take off in a minute. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to ink up the flowers that are going to be poking out from behind the typewriter. So since I just want the flowers, I'm just going to ink up the top part of the doodle stamp just up here like this and I will end up inking up a little bit of the jar kind of right up in here but don't worry about that because that's actually going to end up on top of the mask and we won't even see it so we're just going to kind of place this now before you press down you want to make sure you have your placement as though you want it so you can kind of see I just want the flowers kind of poking out the side there and when I'm happy with where things are sitting I'm just going to press down and just stamp right over top of the mask like this okay now you can see that the mask looks like a mess but when I pick it up look at those cute flowers just poking out from behind so this is kind of essentially the idea of a stamp masking and it really is that easy so I actually want some flowers poking out from the other side of the typewriter too maybe not as many though so that there's only a few kind of poking out from the other side so I'm just going to stamp up or sorry, ink up the stamp again. And then let's see, I'll turn it a little bit like this. So it looks like it's a little bit different poking out the other side. Just like that. All right, let's see how this looks. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a mess there, but when we lift it off, magic. 
It looks like those flowers are in behind that typewriter. Love that. And I want to show you something. Sometimes, depending on how you place your mask, you end up with these little gaps beside your typewriter. You might not worry about those. Usually once they're colored up, you don't even notice them. But if you do, it's a super easy fix. All you want to do is grab a really fine pen. So I just have this Micron number two pen. And then you just kind of go in and you just fill in those gaps right there um, that have been created with this stamp. Again, you may not need to do this part. It's totally fine. I just wanted to show you what you could do if you do end up with a gap on the sides there. Okay, now I feel like the image is a little bit imbalanced. Um, we've kind of got the, the thicker set of flowers or kind of the more bulky set of flowers on one side. So I think what I'm going to do is balance out the image a little more um, with some heart stamps just on this side over here. If I place those, it should balance out this kind of heavier side of the image there. Yeah, I think I like that. So what I'll do now is I'll just get my little um, acrylic block again, and I'll just kind of stamp up this little heart. And I'm just going to place it down right about there. And then I think I'll do one more, just a little up higher, just to kind of offset everything there. Awesome. Yep. I'm loving that. Love the way that that is balanced with these little images plus the hearts on this other side. And that's as simple as it is. I do want to show you one more trick though. And this is one of my favorite tips. So I always store my stamps right on top of the backing for the doodle stamps. But then look, if you turn it over, you can see that I actually hang on to all of my masks. These ones were, re were created with um, removable labels. But if you just kind of stick them on the back here like this, you can mask away with this stamp set anytime you feel like it. So I just pop these into a five by seven uh, Ziploc type of bag like that. And they're ready for me anytime I feel like masking. And you don't have to create a mask every time you use the stamp set. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on stamp masking and I hope it'll help you get lots of use out of your doodle stamps. Thanks for watching.